I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful sort of Grecian tumbling style on Kitty. Bit of Grecian, bit of Roman, but it's going to be gorgeous and tumbling and soft and relaxed. Keeping the hair nice and tight on the roller. So if you just give the roller an extra turn, so it's quite tight on the scalp and hold it firmly there with that extra little, sort of little half a turn, then put the clip in. Then when you let go, the roller will just release just a little bit, but it will stay nice and firm and secure in the hair. Again, I'm doing a reverse wind without a twist. These are hot rollers. We've done a mark on her forehead, so I'll turn that around. Give her a little spray and we'll just let the rollers cool down. I'm going to show you how to create the beautiful sort of tumbling curl style on Kitty. We're going to start off with these, taking these two sections out first. So one of the rollers on the crown and one just below. Just a little bit of curl cream. Then we're going to back comb just at the root. So you need to make sure when you're back combing, as you back comb, you come out of the hair, go back up. When I'm back combing, I back comb quite quickly, so it might look like I'm not pulling the comb out of the hair, but I am. So you need to come out of the hair, go back in, bring the hair down, bring the comb down again. Holding the hair fairly tight with your other hand. So we've got a nice strong foundation here. Just put a little spray on there just to help. I put a little twist in the hair. Make sure you're happy with this section because it's going to be the foundation for the rest of the style. You get a Kirby grip. I use a blonde Kirby grip so that you can see it. The Kirby grip slides the back of the hair, taking in a little bit of the pleat, the hair in the pleat, and a little bit of the hair underneath. And you need to use one of your strong hair pins. You need to go into the hair, pick up a little bit of the hair, go through, come back out and touch the scalp. That way you know you're going to get underneath the anchor that you just put in, the Kirby grip, go back around and push it back into the hair. Now you'll see with this style that the hairpin, although it's a, it's a good strong hairpin, it's quite long. So I've used that so you could see what, I was, what technique I was actually using. But what you might find best to use for this particular style is still one of your hairpins. It's still a strong hairpin, but one of the shorter strong hairpins. So you go into the hair, come out again, and go underneath that curvy grip that's there. And then when you push it back in, the end of the pin doesn't stick out at the end. Now the idea with this style is that we're not bringing everything to the middle. We want to create a little bit of width. If we brought everything to the middle, she'd have cascading curls just down the centre, but we want to have a nice sort of wide curl here. So I'm going to make sure that I bring and secure some of the sections a little bit wider. This section here, a bit of the back comb hair, over your section of hair you want to secure, and back in again. So as you work down the hair, one row at a time, I usually find it best 
to work on the middle roller first and then go side to side. That way you can make sure that you can cover any roller lines with the side sections. I've got it here, I'm using the back combing from the section of hair above to secure it in place. If you haven't done that back combing on the section of above, you see that all the rest of these steps won't work and the hair will be, you'll get it up, but it'll be really flimsy and not very secure. Back coming again at the root, really nice and firm. Because Kitty's hair is thick, I can actually use the longer pins on, on her hair here, so without them sort of poking through the hair. But if your client did have fine, very fine hair, you'd probably, you would find you'd need to use the shorter, strong hairpins. Go in, pick up some back combed hair from underneath, feel a bit of resistance on the hairpin, go over the section of hair you want to secure, and back in again. That might be a little bit too much resistance, it might be painful. Did that hurt, Kitty? No, that's fine. No? no? Okay. Always just double check. If she wants a few little sections down here in the nape of the neck, you might just want to leave a few little wispy bits out now. Flip the hair up again, a section of hair, over the section you want to secure, go back in and push the pin back in place. Okay, now we're going to bring all this hair back, so we've got a cascading sort of curls at the back of the head. We'll pin that up maybe about there. But before we do that, now we know we've got the sort of look that we want. We'll take that hair back up again. So we've finished with the back section. Now let's start working on the sides. So if you feel you wanted to maybe a little bit more curl in the hair at this stage, you could just tongue the end of the hair just a fraction, depending on what sort of style you're aiming to get. But if you're happy with the curl that you've got from the heated rollers, and you don't need to worry about recurling the hair. So a little bit of back combing. Check in the mirror. See how your bride, how tight she wants the hair over her ear. And you're going to start bringing the hair back, and we're going to secure it again underneath the other tumbling curls that we've got here. Now you could take all three rollers out here at once if you wanted, maybe to create a bit of a, a twist. Or a plait, you could create a plait coming down the side here. If you do need to work on covering the ear, you might find it better to do the sections one at a time. So just play around with the hair at the side and get it into a shape that you're happy with. You can secure the hair that way, but you might find it if you turn the hair over and take the hair up that way, then when it comes down, it will come down with more of a curve to the hair, and more of a curl, and it won't be so flat on the head. Get your curl in position, go in, get some back combed hair, come back out again, over your section of hair that you're securing, and hopefully back in. Oh, not in that way, you can always change, they don't want the pin to stick out, and when this comes back, you get a lovely curve like that. Let's bring our tumbling curls down now, from on top. So we've got our sort of tumbling, curly look. Now we've just got a few more rollers left to work on. And we're going to play around with the front section. Now it is all meant to be a bit messy and tumbling, but you don't want it to be too uneven. You don't want big gaps in the curls. Find out where you'd like this curl to sit. And you're going to use the same up and over technique. If you go in there, you can see some of the pins, but don't worry about that. Go in, use your up and over technique. Everything's going to be hidden over that curl, back into the hair. Check that you're happy with the front of it. This style can look different on every time you do it. It really depends on how well the hair curls. So sometimes you just might get a bit of a curve to the hair, but that can, and that can look equally as pretty. And other times you might get a real definite curl. Take the hair in over the section you want to secure. So 
how to do that. I don't. I want it to come back and be quite sort of separated. So I'm going to secure it in a few different places. So I'll do this hair at the top first. Bit of secure hair from underneath, over the top and back in. And even that little bit there is reasonably secure, but let me just do it again just in case. So we want that to look like it's just swept, soft, softly swept over the ear, but actually it's not going to move. So there's not too much back coming there, so I'm going to put a little tick in the hairpin, because the hair's a little bit finer here where I'm going to try and secure it in place. Go in to that hair underneath, come over that little section there and back in, push that up in the hair and then that little section then will stay in position. I would probably have done a dark pin on Kitty's hair, go in, the hair is a little bit darker underneath here, take the pin up and over and back in again. Yeah, I think that's better. What we must do with this style is our shake test so we can see that everything's going to, all the curls are going to stay in place. So, Kitty, do you want to give your head a really good shake for me? Let's have a look a bit more. Okay. Yeah. I think that's stayed up nicely, actually. We've got a little bit of movement here that we want. If she was a bit worried and she wanted those all pinned into place, you could go in and pin each of these curls just gently, just where the, the curl curves around and, and is, touches the head at the back. It looks lovely and soft and relaxed, but actually it's secure and it's going to stay in place nicely. So we've just pulled a few more little bits out of the hair now just to soften the look of the style. Mm -hmm.